Namaste, I'm Archana. Welcome to today's session. This is the last video in the series Yoga for Diabetes. I'll leave the link to the other videos in the description below as well as here. Today we'll be talking about all the best yoga practices that we can do to help improve our blood sugar levels as well as I'll give you modifications, what to do and what not to do when you have diabetes along with other health conditions. If you are new here, remember to subscribe to my channel and if you think this is helpful to someone you know, please share. So we'll begin with doing asanas that can help improve the function of your pancreas. Now, here I'm going to bend my right knee, left knee, see if I can grab my ankle or my toes, anything is fine. This is a very good asana to practice if you have diabetes. Dhanurasana, your bow pose. Inhale, first chest up, then kick your legs towards the back wall and then push it up towards the ceiling. Hold here, three, two, and one. Release, arms on the mat, knees nice and wide. Sit back and stretch. Relax in Shashankasana. If you want to open your palms wide, drop your cheek to one side. Notice how your lower back feels. Ardha Matsyendrasana. Sit tall, bend the right knee. Place the right foot on the outside of your left knee. Bring your left heel under your right hip. Option 1. Hug your right knee and turn towards the right side. Twisting, keeping the back straight. Breathing in and breathing out. If this is comfortable, then hook your left elbow on the outside of your knee. Either pointing the fingers towards the ceiling or dropping the palm towards your feet. Stay here, breathing in, breathing out, remembering to keep the spine straight and every time you breathe out, you turn further towards the right side. Breathing exercises, tiger breathing, place your palms beneath your shoulders, knees beneath your hips, toes behind your knees. As you breathe in, drop your belly towards the mat, chin, chest, gaze forward. And as you breathe out, pull your navel towards your spine, dropping your chin towards your chest, gaze at your navel or knee. Again, breath in. Forward. And as you breathe out, five rounds of this, coordinating your breath with your movement. And completely exhale. Practicing pranayama removes imbalances at the energy body, slowing down the mind, reducing stress and lowering blood sugar values. Now we're going to be practicing uh, Kapal Bhati, which is again a cleansing practice. This is a great practice uh, for people who have diabetes. So we're going to sit tall, keeping our back straight. Both your hands can be in Chin Mudra. Again, as you breathe in, like we did before, Belly moves forward. As we breathe out, we're trying to pull our belly back towards our spine. Just do this a couple more times. Inhale, belly is forward. Exhale, back. Now, breathe in the next step. Belly moves forward. As you breathe out forcefully, pull your navel back towards your spine. Again, inhale. As you breathe out, pull your navel back towards your spine. In Kapal Bhati, we're just going to be focusing on breathing out. Breathing in happens automatically. Ideally, we can do about 80 to 120 rounds in a minute. But if you're a beginner, if you've not been doing this practice before, you can start off uh, slowly. 
we're going to start with 30 rounds inhale forward exhale Next, we are going to be practicing Nadi Shuddhi Pranayama. This is again a balancing pranayama. Here, left hand is in Chin Mudra. Again, a great practice for diabetes. If you have no time during the day and if you can just do two practices, I would suggest that you do the Kapalbhati practice followed by um, Nadi Shuddhi Pranayama. Chin mudra, sorry, in your left hand. Nasika mudra in your right. Thumb open, index middle finger closes. With our thumb, we're going to open and close our right nostril. With our ring finger, we're going to open and close our left nostril. Close your right nostril. Sit tall. Completely breathe out through your left. Breathe in through your left. Don't worry how long you're going to breathe in or breathe out. Close your left, completely breathe out through your right. Breathe in through your right. And out through your left. Once you're comfortable doing this, you can always count breathing in for two, breathing out for two, or breathing in for four, out for four. Again, you can count in your mind. I'm going to just choose to breathe in for two counts. Pause. Breathe out through your right. Breathe in through your right. And out through your left. Meditation lowers blood pressure, slows down the heart rate, relaxes the nervous system, reducing stress hormones like adrenaline and cortisol. We're going to end this session by practicing Nada Anusandhana. Here we're going to be chanting sounds like A, U and Ma. This sounds, the frequency that they produce when it matches the frequency, the natural frequency in our body. It's going to create a lot of vibration and resonance in our body. So this acts as a stimulation. And when there is this pause after this, that is going to help release all the tension, the subtle tensions in our body. We are going to begin by sitting with our back straight, chin mudra in both our hands with the thumb and index finger touch. Close your eyes. Now when we chant the first sound, ah, you're going to notice the vibrations all through our abdomen and lower body. Take a deep breath in and as you breathe out, begin chanting. Just enjoy that silence. Next, we're going to chant the O sound, noticing the vibrations in our chest and the middle part of our body. One more deep breath in. This time we're going to chant the more sound. Feel the vibrations in our head and face region. Ma. Now we're going to chant all the three sounds together. We're going to begin with A ah for one third of our breath, then U and Ma. Ah.
stay here for a few more breaths just noticing how your body feels noticing the thoughts that are coming into your mind just bringing awareness to all the different sensations two asanas to avoid if you have diabetes is yoga mudrasana and shalabhasana both these asanas are known to worsen the condition to know more about this i'll leave a link to the research in the description below when we have diabetes along with high blood pressure it's important not to hold our breath and to avoid forceful inhalation and exhalation when doing forward bends hinge at the hip and fold forward without rounding the back keep your gaze on the mat at all times without bringing the crown of the head in the direction of the mat in seated forward folds keep your gaze forward maintaining length in your back and neck focus on bringing your abdomen towards your thigh and not your chin towards your chest modify any standing or seated poses in which the arms are normally extended overhead by bringing them below shoulder level or by placing your hands on your hips avoid inversions where the position of your head is below the heart thank you for joining me today i would love to hear from you in the comments below if this video was helpful please give it a thumbs up namaste